Hi everyone, um, my name is Aoife and this is Mo and we're coming from Forest in Dublin. Um, that's Forest with a PH, not an F, which we learned last night is another company in France who also <laughs> uses Ember, which led to a lot of confusion. Um, uh, we're that little purple acorn up there, so while we might look small, we're making a big impact worldwide across 10,000 salons and on track to um, 15. And last night was awesome. I was gallivanting around, talking to a few of you wonderful people, and uh, just having the best time getting back to normality. Anne came up to me and asked me if I wanted to do a lightning talk. I was very, very <laughs> reluctant uh, to the idea, but uh, I looked over at Aoife, and I could see that we both had this light bulb go off in each of our heads, and we were like, we have to talk about pair programming. So I have a question for you all. Who has done pair programming before? It's a lot of you. And how many of you actually enjoy it? <laughs> well, that's actually, yeah. that's, that's well, good, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, for those of you who don't, we hope to change your mind. For those of you who do, we hope we'll give you further inspiration. And for those of you who've never tried it, we hope you encourage, encourage you to give it a go. So why did we start doing it? We um, were starting a brand new feature from scratch on our team. And um, at the time, I'm very new to Forest, so I was very new to the team. And Mo was still relatively new to Ember. Um, so that was kind of an instant idea. But also, we were having issues on our team with um, just a lack of cohesion, people all working independently, and just not kind of a clear goal for our team. That definitely was due to the pandemic and working remotely constantly. We just didn't have, we just didn't have that team bond and that team goal. And from previous experience, I, I just love pair programming, something I've always championed it. So I said to Mo, I'd love to experiment with her for, for this, uh, um, this feature and to, to see how we get on with it. Hopefully what we talk about, our successes, our failures can help you all with your pair programming um, and, and, and to help you experiment and, and that kind of thing. So to start off, we would have pair programming sessions. They would be in 40 minute time slots. And then we would have a 10 minute break. And boy, was that 10 minute break very important. Um, and then we actually would talk at the beginning for a while, really just trying to set up our goals and what are the tech complexities, what are the constraints, how do we want to break down this problem and solve it in the best possible way we can? Initially, we attempted to have a TDD approach and uh, that failed uh, <laughs> really bad. Uh, that was because of some technical issues within our app. Um, but this is something that we strive to improve in the future. That being said, lots of tests just at the end and not at the beginning. Uh, so there's always room for improvement there. And then I think that something that is vital to the process is taking those really big problems and then making them into bite-sized chunks. And that's what we would do in those 40-minute sessions. And so what we would do amongst each other is one person would drive and then the other person was in the passenger seat. And whoever was in the passenger seat was assisting and talking through things and whoever was driving would be writing the code. And we could really just talk about those small problems. And we found that, um, okay. And at the end of the 40 minute session, we would commit, push up the code and switch. And what was really important about switching was that we both had the opportunity to learn, to give back, and to assist the other person. So what were our key takeaways? So for me as a senior developer, it was um, allowing me to do some more off the cuff teaching, which I found really difficult, again, working remotely. I was finding that the devs were spending an inordinate amount of time if they were encountering a problem to try and solve it themselves. And while that's admirable, Sometimes it can just lead to slow down a delivery and you just wish, why didn't you just come to me? Why didn't you ask me that question? I could have helped you sooner. So with Mo, when a, when a problem came up, I, um, she'd just be able to ask me directly, not worried about breaking um, or breaking my stride or just interrupting me. She knew we're both working on the same problem. So let's, let's just go into a bit more detail. 
Additionally, it's, uh, it's created a great bond between me and Mo. As I said, I was new to the team. And with this new bond, is now, we're now friends, but also we're just uh, incredible teammates. I can now know I can fully rely on her and uh, we help each other. And she just feels that bit more empowered to go and, and tackle new problems. Yeah, exactly what Eva said. Uh, but from the perspective of a junior dev, um, it really gave me a sense of support and, and to know that I had a space to talk about whatever it was that I needed to talk about in the problem that we were trying to solve. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but I can get really in my head and I can go down some serious rabbit holes and to have uh, another person there to just help you, you know, sift through the weeds. Um, it was really valuable. And to ask any type of question, Ember, JavaScript, life, <laughs> you know, um, we, we were there. Yeah, just, just a final thing to add, like my main difficulty was definitely around context switching at first. When I started, I was able to give almost 100% um, attention uh, to the pair programming with Mo, which was extremely valuable. But as my responsibilities increased um, on the team, that time was just less and less and less. And But I wanted to make sure we still kept up that process because it worked so well. We now dedicate at least one session a week to pair programming, whatever the um, idea it is, just to, just to keep, keep that flow. But it's also um, helped us encourage other members of our team to do the same. We had a Java developer on our team who kind of had this awareness that, okay, I need to kind of jump in and help a bit here. Um, and Mo was then able to get him set up on the Ember uh, project, him start to contribute, and they did a bit of pair pro programming. So the really great value out of this is we now have a new Ember contributor and a new member of this fantastic community. So thank you. <laughs>